You'll get a fantastic first half. Murder second half. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but but it was a little bit more difficult for us in the second half. Well, that, that's a mindset. That, honestly, that's a mindset. If you look at us, our first in the first ten minutes of the game, we started really well. I was confident, although we've not been beat perfect for us, I was confident uh, coming into the game because when we prepared the match and training all week, the boys were up for it. I could, you could sense it, you get a feel for it. And then it was only a matter of implementing all the hard work we'd done on the training pitch. And we'd done that in the first half. And my only disappointment was it was only two. We should have been, we should have been three or four. Uh, Marley one-on-one a couple of times, but... He's a brave lad because he wants to take up that centre forward mantle role. He's got a buzz from it right at this moment in time. And that pace over the top really stretches the game. I would hate to play against him if I'm a centre half. Sure. And um, on another day, he could have been sitting there with a match ball. But we're grateful he got us one. And the one that he got added to us winning the football match. So absolutely delighted. Second half, we started negative. We started with passing it back to the goalkeeper. Or shape. We're sitting too deep. We didn't make a pass. Uh, we couldn't have turned them. Uh, and then it resulted in really putting Partick on the front foot. And he says that at half time, but all credit to Partick, they're no, I think the two teams are very close, although we're sitting away up there in the league, they're a good sure. side. And um, if you were to say to me, I'll, let, I'll give them two league wins for you to go and win the Scottish Cup tie, where, where we're sitting right at this moment in time in the league, what would you do? I would I'd probably say, you take I'd that, take, we'll take the Scottish Cup I'd tie. The so tie. absolutely I'd delighted about that. And... Um, but you have to give credit to the opposition. I, you know, I, I'm a real, got great respect for everything at Partick Fissel. They recruit very well, they pass the ball very well, and they absolutely battered their second half. We just had to stand strong. I'm not going to mention S and Safe. Don't mention, even ask about it, because if I mention that, I'm going to get that for the whole week. <laughs> I'm sure. What I was going to mention was, there's only three Premiership teams left in the draw now. Yeah, and I think these boys, you've seen the excitement and the buzz that we got last year going to the CIS Cup final and all that stuff. It really brought an excitement to the club and the profile of the club. We talk about the community and the next generation of kids and school kids. They're seeing their hometown city. You know, I've always been told it's not a town, it's a city. And they're seeing that, you know, in their peer group, oh, I want to go and watch Inverness, so... These guys deserve a wee bit of lady luck in the draw. And uh, if we get a nice home draw against a team in a lower division, you're not guaranteed you'll win it, but we would take it. And um, if we could do that, get to, you know, and do the business, then, well, listen, let's just hopefully we get a nice, lucky home draw at home. Great. Look forward to it, John. Thanks very much for your time. Cheers, thanks very much. Well,